Stefan Marinovic and this is my Q&A. Michael Rog 840 asks, what is your first memory of football? Oh, that would probably have to be orange slices uh, on, the side of a, on the side of the pitch when I was about seven at the half time. Uh, where my dad was actually coach. That was actually kind of a, a fun time, and all my uh, all my mates played with me, and uh, yeah, we had a we had a good time. I remember that. <laughs> Jackson Hooker Seven from Instagram asks, "Who was your biggest inspiration growing up?" Um, I assume you mean uh, football inspiration, because otherwise I would say uh, say my dad, but. Um, uh, I would say in football it had to be uh, Oliver Kahn, he's one of my all-time favorite goalkeepers as well. Uh, he, uh, just his industriousness and just winning attitude were uh, something to strive for. Uh, outside of football and sports, uh, I would have to say I, I looked up to Michael Schumacher uh, when he was uh, winning those uh, um, Grand Prix and uh, top of the world, I think it was seven years in a row. Um, just that ability to win week in week out was uh, astounding for years so uh, looked up to him as well I think I think I even had a Ferrari bid <laughs> as a little kid growing up um, yeah Curtis Osborne from Instagram asks how are you enjoying being back in New Zealand well it's it's been a very long time uh, since since I've been back home uh, for an extended period of time you know I've had the odd trip back but uh, coming back home and uh, connecting with my family and my uh, roots again uh, it's been really nice uh, just that uh, connecting back to the land and your family after being so long away is uh, really important uh, I think especially at, uh, in my age and um, you know not to lose touch Jay Mooney 3 from Instagram asks what would you say is your best save this season uh, that's, that's a difficult one, I've had a couple <laughs> that, I, that I quite like, uh, however, uh, it would probably be uh, the save to deny my teammate, Costa Barbarousas, uh, my always teammate, uh, to deny him that goal in that game, uh, really like that one. Uh, we have a couple, I guess, uh, I think it was against Perth that I also really, really liked, but uh, it made it all the more sweeter that it was against uh, an ex-teammate of mine. So. Charlie Ruckel NZ from Instagram asks, what is the most memorable save you've ever made? That's a very difficult one because I've had a lot of saves in my career. I uh, considered a lot of goals, but that comes with the territory. <laughs> but uh, my most memorable save, uh, quite a difficult one, but if I had to put it on one, it would be... Uh, uh, my penalty save against uh, South Korea in my debut for the national team made the mistake that led to, <laughs> to the penalty and I think what it was like the 30th minute or something um, but Son stepped up and uh, managed to uh, keep a clean sheet all the way up until I think the 85th minute when, uh, when they uh, scored the one goal but uh, that catapulted I think my career uh, at the time uh, so it definitely has to be that one. Stu Boy from Twitter asks Who's the best player you've ever played against? Well, this is a pretty easy one. <laughs> He's a current player. Um, Ronaldo, has to be Ronaldo. I played against Ronaldo uh, with the national team of the Confeds uh, while he was playing for uh, Portugal, obviously. Uh, made a couple saves, uh, not spectacular, but uh, to play against uh, one of the best players of the generation was definitely a highlight. Ibrahimovic would be up there, I guess, because he's a character, but it has to be a Ronaldo. Okay, um, who would it be? Oh yeah. Jack M X L L S Mixels from Instagram uh, asks, if you were stuck on an island with one Phoenix player, who would it be? Well, I could tell you who it definitely wouldn't be, and that would be Steven Taylor, because he'd probably, or we'd probably die. <laughs> nah, uh, you know, no, no one to do the washing for him, so. Uh, if it had to be one player, I would say Alex Rufa. Keen fisherman, so uh, I can rely on his skills to keep us hungry. Uh, sorry, to not, to not be hungry. Uh, I'll, I'll be eating well every night, so uh, definitely be Alex Rufa. 
<laughs> Speaking of the devil, Steven Taylor from Instagram. Uh, why is your head so big? Well, Stevie, my head's so big because it's proportioned to my shoulders because I'm carrying you all game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, <laughs> Hen.dw from Instagram asked, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, it's another easy question. I mean, I like your questions, guys, but this is another uh, easy question for me. Um, I'd love to be able to fly. Uh, I'm, I'm a keen pilot, so uh, being able to fly without having to use a piston engine would be uh, be pretty awesome. I could fly to my girlfriend. She lives overseas, so just quickly fly over there. <laughs> so yeah, that would be uh, flying. Ringo Tihan from Instagram asks, what is your favorite city that you've been to? Um, I have a lot. I have a lot of uh, favorite cities. Uh, I've been fortunate enough with my career to visit uh, a fair few. Uh, just recently, uh, Vilnius in Lithuania was actually an extremely beautiful city. Uh, I love Queenstown. I love Vancouver. Munich, absolute favorite of mine as well. I lived there for seven or so years, so felt like felt like a second home. Uh, so difficult one to put down. Uh, oh, and my dad's hometown, Podgora in Croatia on the Dalmatian coast is also a beautiful one, but uh, if I had to choose, uh, home is where the heart is, so uh, my, my girlfriend's from Munich, so it would have to be Munich. <laughs> Paul, uh, Paul Gothard from Instagram asks, how do you keep your teeth white? For those that don't know, that's my goalkeeper, <laughs> goalkeeper coach here. Well, Goffey, uh, I'm a keen uh, uh, vi visitor of the dentist. I like the dentist. Uh, keeps me healthy. Means I don't have to pay for any crowns or anything like that. I actually like going to the dentist. <laughs> if uh, if uh, that's the case, yeah. So I like going to the dentist. They say they're so white, Goffey. Maybe you should go. <laughs> so Hotline Jim from Instagram asks, who's got the best banter in the squad? Well, there are some undercover uh, agents on that front like everyone would say probably Stevie Taylor he's just the loudest ball is backing him up pretty uh, pretty heavily they're back and forth a little bit uh, undercover um, Sutz Sam Sutton he's, he's undercover under his breath you wouldn't expect it you don't hear it out loud but if you if you catch it he's got some good banter uh, but uh, it would it would have to be uh, the combo of um, Bawley, Steven Taylor, and uh, Rufa gets on it as well. So those three be, uh, be the main ones. James Vincent from Instagram asks, what's the best marinade for lamb on the barbecue? Uh, oh, that's a tough one. I, I, I just like, personally, I like just uh, to keep it relatively simple with some rosemary, um, some garlic, if a, a marinade, and uh, uh, the sauce afterwards, a lot of people like gravy, I personally like, I'm a big fan of the mint jelly. Not the mint sauce, mint jelly. Uh, yeah, that would have to be best marinade and sauce. Uh, Tommy B from Instagram asks, are you looking forward to playing in your hometown next week at Eden Park? I am very much looking forward to playing my hometown. I, uh, I was lucky enough to play uh, off, uh, a couple times in, in the North Harbour Stadium, but uh, Eden Park is a big one. Uh, watch the All Blacks play there. Uh, not live, unfortunately, but um, I've watched the All Blacks play there. I know how much it means to the to the, our national team there. So to be able to play a football match in what's traditionally a uh, rugby stadium uh, in front of friends and family from the area and uh, an Auckland crowd, which uh, I, I imagine is going to be very loud, is going to be uh, a huge, uh, huge experience. Afro Ryan from Instagram asks, who is your all-time favorite goalkeeper? Well, like many of the questions before, I've got lots of favorites. Um, recently, it's been uh, Manuel Neuer. He has been in great form uh, over the past couple of years. Uh, just recently surpassed probably uh, by uh, their results. Allison and um, I would say Edison at uh, Man City. I thought they've been phenomenal for their teams. Uh, but all-time favorite has to be grow like my hero when I was growing up was probably Oliver Kahn, just through and through, goalkeeper, keep the ball out of net at all costs, 
kick the ball in the stands, doesn't really matter, as long as you keep the balls out, I, uh, I love that, so he'd probably be uh, my absolute favourite. Real, real nutcase as well, which is always fun. Ryan Lee 47 from Instagram asks, if you weren't a footballer, what would you be doing? Well, Ryan, that's a uh, big what if. Uh, I was into finance when I was a kid. I liked that uh, finance, economics, that type of thing. Uh, I was quite good at it, but I, I couldn't imagine living in a, uh, working in an office. For me personally, I have to be out and about in the nature or, or something like that, uh, just out in the sun. New Zealand would have been a perfect place for that. Uh, I've recently found over the past couple of years uh, flying to be extremely rewarding and uh, uh, maybe when I'm finished I might take that up as a job so I'm working towards that so uh, come down to Wellington Era Club come see me there I'll be flying so uh, uh, yeah so if I wasn't playing football I'd probably be flying. <laughs>Uh, guys and girls, I uh, really enjoy your questions. It's always nice to have a different uh, different question than your standard ones on the in the media box. So uh, thanks for sending that in, and uh, I'll see you at Eden Park.